in the previous episode we we saw about like you know one of the email providers which we can use on the dark web as well as on the clear net and uh, like you know some examples how they are secure now in this episode we are going to take it to even further in the security bar so we are going to uh, like you know discuss what are the other email providers or which are like you know more strict uh, more private and like you know offer good ton of security you don't need to pay anything etc so you're gonna talk about like you know dark web email addresses or email providers and probably i'll also show you uh, one of the examples on how do you sign up and use and etc so far you're liking the series if you if you do like you know please uh, hit the like button and also uh, leave the feedback on the comments so i know exactly what kind of content you guys are looking for uh, that will be immensely helpful also uh, share any other email providers that you have been using and, and pretty successful so far so dark web email uh, so like you know the feature as you can see on the screen are pretty much similar to what we saw in the previously like you know the secure or private email providers now three difference that you would see this is dark web only so you have no connection there is no access you can do from the clear net so suppose your use case is you only need these email providers uh, which you are browsing the dark web then yes this is perfect for you uh, there is no JS if you remember we talked about the previous uh, it does require some kind of JavaScript so you cannot like you know uh, set your Tor browser to the safest or any other browser to the safest and not allow the JavaScript but here you can so that's again a tremendous security benefit because there is no JS execution risk on on these providers and then of course this is all within the Tor network so you get all the Tor benefits so there are there are uh, uh, two especially we're gonna discuss elude and the tor email but rather than showing here let me share the screen all right so here so if you go on the uh, let's say like you know clear net and you go to the elude in and how to dash html it will tell you how to sign up so you have to use the tor browser right in order to uh, use that then they have the uh, onion site address which you can use uh, sometime it might or might not work uh, but most of the time you can obviously go, uh, like you know search it on the DuckDuckGo and, and find out uh, the another one is the tour box and tour box is again a hidden mailbox service only accessible from the tour there is no connection between tour box and the public internet all the messages are sent and received within the tour box so as you can see there is no connection between the private and public internet uh, you can use this URL I've used it it doesn't work so I'm gonna put in the description the one that which has worked for me so make sure you use that all right now let's go to the tour uh, browser here first one is elude and now once you get it here of course my passcode has expired because I had load up the screen earlier but uh, once you load that it's going to ask you like you know fill out the captcha once you click on the box it will generate a new character here you fill it out and once you succeed then it will take you to the home page where you can sign up and like you know start using the mailbox uh tour box is uh, much more simpler there is no uh, capture protection but as you can see here uh, this is again like you know on your address i'm gonna put it in the description uh, but yeah this is the hidden mailbox service only accessible from tour there is no connection probably all the messages are sent and received within the tour box just sign up and and like you know use the start using it now if we see the sign up uh, it only asks for the name or nickname again you don't need to provide your your real name you can uh, use the fake identity generator and put the name here uh, you can of course use uh, any email uh, password and the captcha uh, once you uh, kind of do that uh, you will be able to log in so you click on the webmail login you put that username password and as you can see my uh, like you know I and I can I can obviously log into my inbox but here let's try one thing let's try to compose an email right and let's say test at gmail.com right let's see if this even works because this is not supposed to send anything outside of the dark web so as you can see here any error occurred an error occurred uh, blah 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 recipient address rejected really not permitted check out current peering at this 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 so that means recipient address rejected that means they do not send email to the clear net 
so that's obviously like you know a good protection because you do not want to generally um, send the emails uh, to the clearnet and that way you can keep complete privacy or, or uh, anonymity between your personal profile and the dark web profile um, one thing now when you're using this uh, what you can do so right now I have set it to Sapphire and as you can see JavaScript is disabled only on the non HTTP sites but if you do the safest it allows website features required for static sites and banner service uh, JavaScript disabled by default on all the sites which is fine none of these website would actually work or would actually need so I've changed this so let's we send this let's refresh and if you try to send email to any dark web addresses it's still gonna work because none of this is actually using the dark web uh, sorry the JavaScript so that's that's really uh, cool uh, and again as I said like this particular uh, maybe uh, features or, or this particular email providers dark web only would work if you want to preserve your emails and not like dispose emails like we saw in the first episode second episode when you want to like you know send emails to dark web and clear net but want security this one is dark web only it has all the security uh, these are open source there is no logs or tracking that they do and of course they are not using any JavaScript and you get all the benefits that you get from the tour so these are all the benefits so uh, like you know based on all the options we have discussed so far I, I think what I would recommend is maybe do the like you know analysis on what is the use case you have and what are the benefits and uh, uh, like you know disadvantage you have with all the options that we have discussed so far and, and select the best one because I'm also using multiple boxes it's not like I'm only using the dark web because they do not have JS or they're only off on the dark web I still use like you know sometimes disposable email addresses because there is a use case for it so you in your case also there might be a combination of like you know certain things you want to dis uh, you want to uh, select so uh, but yeah if you have any questions uh, regarding like you know some selection uh, uh, feel free to comment me and I'll, I'll try my best to get back to you and hopefully someone in the community may also be able to answer this uh, but yeah that's about it uh, if you haven't liked the video yet uh, please do so it only takes like a couple seconds to do that and also I'll leave your feedback at the end of the video uh, and I'll see you all next Monday bye